It may seem like a hassle when you're moving your house across the country and have to pack up all your stuff into boxes. Or even worse, you're moving internationally and you're stuck worrying about whether your belongings will make it all in one piece. Now imagine if you could simply transport your entire house in one go. Wouldn't that be nice? We've put together a list of 10 of the largest planes in the world which could pick up your house in one fell swoop. We're not sure if any of them are available for hire yet, but there's only one way to find out. Whether you're a newbie when it comes to planes or something of an expert, we bet we can tell you something in this video that you didn't know before. So just before we start, put your seatbelt on, hold on tight, and press the subscribe button before we take off. Aerospace Lines Super Guppy Looking at the Aerospace Lines Super Guppy, you wouldn't think it'd be able to get off the ground. It's used when NASA needs to transport spacecraft components around the United States, which, as I'm sure you can imagine, are also pretty big. It's the only plane wide enough and powerful enough to do the job. It has a wingspan of 157 feet and can travel at a speed of 287 miles per hour. It's also only 144 feet long, making it look almost square-shaped if it wasn't so bulky. The first Super Guppy was built in 1962 as a follow-up from the Pregnant Guppy. There were five created in the following years before the current Super Guppy came into power. Throughout their journeys, they have helped to transport a number of components for the Apollo, Skylab, and Gemini missions. The original plane could carry 54,000 pounds of cargo at a speed of 200 miles per hour. Its follow-up was modified to help it become more streamlined in order to fly up to 2,000 miles while carrying around 16,000 pounds of cargo. Right now, the current Super Guppy is primarily being used to transport Project Orion components around the country, but because of its huge size, it can really be used for carrying almost anything. AN-225 Maria Currently the world's biggest plane, the AN-225 Maria was built in 1988 to transport the Buran shuttle. Owned by Ukrainian company Antonov Airlines, the huge plane can often be seen in Britain or the surrounding areas. Maria means dream in Ukrainian, which seems a pretty accurate description. Think of the good night's sleep you'd be able to get without your neighbors kicking you on a plane that size. Sadly, it wasn't built to carry passengers and instead carries 50 cars at once. It has a total wingspan of nearly 3,000 square feet, which is almost double that of a jumbo jet. And we're quite relieved to hear it has huge wings because it's definitely going to need some power or possibly magic to lift 250 tons into the air each time it makes a flight. Strangely enough, the plane has been used to carry smaller planes before. Now that's some planeception. It's also carried trains, helicopters, and boats. For the last 10 years, it's been used primarily to transport oil and gas equipment and has made 550 journeys in total. That's probably one or two more than your trip count. It has a crew of only around 22 people, which means a lot of walking for a plane that size. KC-747 There's only one KC-747 in the world, and it's owned and flown by the Iranian Air Force. It's a plane that nearly didn't make it to the air. While it was being created, a smaller version, the KC-10, was also in the process of creation. While both battled it out for a while, the KC-10 initially won for being able to touch down on a smaller landing strip. However, while the KC-10 was busy fulfilling its duties, the Shah of Iran bought two of the KC-747s. It was the most capable plane the country owned and far exceeded the limits that their own KC-707 tankers could manage. Unfortunately, within the last four decades, one of the planes was lost in a thunderstorm, so there is now only one single KC-747 left in service. The lonely plane is often seen flying around Iran, especially on parades and flyovers. Even though the decision was made years ago, there's still a lot of debate about whether the Advanced Cargo Transport Aircraft Program should have gone with the KC-747 instead. But although it is bigger and can carry more, does that necessarily mean it's better? Well, as it stands, we'll never know for sure. Airbus A400M Atlas One of the newest planes to make our list, the Airbus A400M Atlas was built as a multinational plane with countless capabilities. From being able to do aerial refueling to medical evacuation, it's definitely one of the most able planes of our generation. It was built in 2008 and took its maiden journey in December 2009 from Seville in Spain. It differs from a lot of our top 10 in that it was built as a partner effort with a few countries. It currently serves France, Germany, South Africa, Spain, the United Kingdom, Turkey, Belgium, and Luxembourg. 
Unfortunately, this 147 foot long plane did encounter a few difficulties. In January 2009, it was reported that the plane was 12 tons too heavy and therefore would not be able to complete its critical performance requirement to lift 32 tons. In March, the developers even considered dropping the project entirely because no positive future could be found. Luckily, the contract was renegotiated and the path for the Airbus A400M Atlas continued. This plane has the most powerful turboprop engine in the whole of the Western world and also has special propellers. They turn in opposite directions. This gives the plane more lift and lessens the torque and prop wash on each wing. Kawasaki C2 The Japanese Kawasaki C2 is another newly developed military plane that puts all commercial aircrafts to shame. It has a wingspan of 145 feet and a length of 144 feet. Despite its great size, it's actually one of the cheaper planes to be developed, and was part of a joint project with the PX version which costs $2.9 billion. That might sound like an awful lot of money to the rest of us, but other military aircrafts can cost around double that price. So the Kawasaki C2 was a bargain, really. It's a twin-engine aircraft and can carry up to 26 tons of cargo. Luckily, it has an automatic loading and unloading system because we can imagine that would be an awful lot of lifting for the crew. With top speeds of 354 miles per hour, it has very few competitors worldwide and is not planning on becoming multinational. Although other countries such as New Zealand have expressed interest in the aircraft, it's not looking likely that we'll see it flying around the rest of the world anytime soon. Other than taking cargo around the country, the Kawasaki C2 can also transport troops, drop drug supplies, or undertake medical evacuation even under hostile conditions. Boeing 747 Dreamlifter At 65,000 cubic feet, the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter has the largest cargo hold in the world. It was built in the same style as the Super Guppy to ensure it can take off and land safely despite its huge bulk. The aircraft is 235 feet long and has a wingspan of 212 feet. When it's fully loaded, the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter weighs 401.5 tons, so it's a wonder it can even make it into the sky. There are currently only four Dreamlifters around and they're used as a crucial element to producing the Boeing Dreamliner aircraft. The Dreamlifter made the news a few years back for accidentally landing at the wrong airport. Instead of touching down at McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas, it somehow ended up 8 miles away at the Jabara Airport in Wichita. The airport is considered to be 3,000 feet too small for the plane to land safely, which should show some perspective for the size of the whole plane. In order to safely take off, the airport had to bring the rest of the flights to a standstill and close the surrounding roads. Luckily, the pilot was able to take off again despite the limited space, and the Dreamlifter shortly arrived at its intended destination. Antonov AN-124 Condor Hailing once again from Ukraine, the Antonov AN-124 Condor was designed in the 1980s to carry oversized cargo and extra heavy machinery. The aircraft has two floors. The first can carry a crew of 88 along with the pilot, and the lower floor is for the cargo. So if you wanted to pick up your house and move, but keep it in sight at all times, this could be the plane for you. Until recently, when the Boeing 747-8F was finished, the Antonov AN-124 Condor, named Condor for short by NASA, was the heaviest cargo aircraft in the world. It had kept that role for 30 years. Production of the airplane has varied over the years due to tensions between Ukraine and Russia. At its peak, there were 50 aircrafts in circulation, but rising political tension has meant that no one is completely sure about the plane's future. Previously, the Antonov AN-124 Condor had made history for traveling the longest distance without refueling. It managed to fly for 25 hours and 30 minutes with a cargo load of 501.5 tons. During this time, it reached a distance of 12,521 miles. The plane has also helped out other countries ranging from France to Ethiopia to Japan during the Fukushima nuclear accident a few years back. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy When fully loaded, the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy can weigh nearly a million pounds. It's the largest Western military plane ever built. But unfortunately, its size has made it somewhat unreliable. It didn't even get off to a good start in the development stage when owner Lockheed suffered financial difficulties. Once the aircraft had been completed, experts found cracks in the wings of some of the planes. It was restricted in capability until everyone was sure it was safe to fly cargo again. The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy can lift almost every single type of military equipment, 
including the Army's Armored Vehicle Launch Bridge. It has the capacity to hold up to six helicopters at one time, or five Bradley Fighting Vehicles. Throughout its time, the aircraft has set several new records. It carried an 88-ton load a distance of 7.5 miles in 23 minutes and 59 seconds. At the moment, the Lockheed is limited to only military and government use, and has been everywhere from California to Oklahoma, Texas, and Delaware. As planes go, it's had quite a few accidents, but its huge size and potential means it still deserves a place on our top 10 biggest list. Airbus A300-600ST Beluga It's been dubbed the weirdest looking plane ever by various TV networks across the globe, and it's fair to say that the Airbus A300-600ST Beluga doesn't look like your typical plane. Nicknamed because, you guessed it, it has a strong resemblance to the white arctic whale. It's one to watch if you see it going past in the sky. There are only five belugas in existence, and they make around 65 flights a week in total, to deliver aircraft pieces around Europe. The plane itself was created in various countries. The wings were produced in Broughton, but the final product was finished in Toulouse, Hamburg, and Seville. It differs from most planes because although it has the capability to carry a huge load, it's not half as streamlined as the others on our list. Its odd shape means it has the potential to carry 671 people, 36 cars, or 7 elephants. Perfect if you're moving countries and want to bring your zoo all in one piece. The aircraft has proved to be a success so far, and there's hope that two more will join the fleet by the year 2020 to cover more ground with less journeys. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III To go along with its long name, the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III has an almost equally long wingspan and length. At 174 feet long, with a 170 foot wingspan and an empty weight of 141 tons, it's more than slightly larger than your average aircraft. In fact, it's the second ever biggest military aircraft produced in the United States, after the Lockheed. However, it's not just used in the States, but also primarily by India, Australia, and England. It was created in the 1980s when the US Air Force was looking to upgrade their current military planes. Based on previous designs, including the C-141 Starlifter, the Globemaster was born. It has improved engines, swept wings, and an increased size, all of which work together to create a far more powerful plane. It took a lot of work before the Globemaster was ready for flight. The first time the wings were tested, they were found to buckle and did not withstand safety checks. Over $100 million was spent redesigning them to ensure their survival. It received its name in 1993 and eventually, after more trials, went on to become a success for the next 20 years. In 2015, the last plane was completed, and they're expected to fly the skies for at least another few decades. We can only apologize for next time when you're on a plane and you're inevitably upset about the lack of space now that we've told you about all these huge aircrafts, but we hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to The Hub for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching!